Good morning everyone. This is uh, Marie again. And welcome to my channel. Now I'm going to uh, show you how I make my own lunganisa. So now I am prepared the minced pork. This one, minced pork about 300 grams. Tapos, uh, I already put the uh, a little bit of breeding mix from the on, on how to cook the chicken uh, fried chicken just for the taste a little bit only so now I am putting all the uh, one tablespoon of garlic and one tablespoon of onion it should be minced properly and now I'm going to mix all the ingredients here And I'm adding one tablespoon of brown sugar. So this is really soft sugar, brown. So just on. Um, I think two tablespoons is not enough. The one tablespoon. So after that one, I put some salt, one teaspoon salt or one tsp one teaspoon salt. So guys, this is just, uh, I just try it myself because I make before that is too salty. So now I will try another try if it is uh, working or not. So now I'm going to use my hands to mix all these ingredients. So, ah, uh, not enough. I'm going to put my own, own recipe of my chili sauce, this one. I made it. Uh, next my blog I will show you on how to make this uh, chili sauce with the shrimp or the shrimp paste could do so now I'm going to okay, wash hands first I'm going to mix this with my hands so mix properly so guys I am go I'm going to show you how I mix uh, when I make uh, minced pork, steamed minced pork, I do this to the pork so that the this one it will really mixed and it makes the the food uh, makes tender and it all the taste was really mixed together. So like this, maybe. 10 times like this so that this is the finished I already mixed all together so this is should be the texture of the minch uh, minch pork so now I'm going to show you how I put into the uh, plastic wrap to make a shape of a lunganisa so this is the plastic wrap and then I'm going to shape the lunganisa into a longer shape so maybe one tablespoon it's each piece or more than a piece is uh, I measure it one tablespoon just make it longer like this and then roll over you can roll like this so that it will be balanced the the size of your lunganisa unfold like this in the end or like this you can use roller also to to pull to pull in this like this going in, in the end so now it's already prepared like this I will get our lunganisa so this is the shape of our lunganisa finished product see so I think we can make 16 or 20 pieces out of this so I will show you on how to use the roller using like this you see so it will be really balanced the, the long longer and then you can measure through the roller of how long do you want to extend your lunganisa so it's like this you see it's so easy so 
So, we're almost done, guys, with our longganisa or homemade sausage. So, I just make uh, how many? Mm -hmm. 12 pieces out of 300 grams, but I make a little bit big. So, you see, guys, this one. And tomorrow, I will just cook this one for tomorrow. So, I will put in a fridge for uh, overnight. And then, in cooking this one, maybe I cannot make a plug for tomorrow. So, in cooking this one, you just uh, put water, a little bit water when you cook. And then, put an oil. And then, let it dry until the oil will remain. And then, uh, fry. Because this one is uh, have the oil already because this is minced um, pork. So, after frying, uh, turns it into a little bit brown. So, it's ready to eat. Guys, thank you for watching my vlog for today and please subscribe my channel and don't forget to like. Thank you, thank you very much and uh, watch out for my next vlog. I am making uh, baked potato with salmon. Thank you guys. Bye-bye.